County grandmother has been waiting six months for her insurance company to pay damage claims after a fire at her home. It was an accidental blaze, and while Sherry Donahue's renter's insurance paid for living expenses, she's worried because there's been no money to repair her home. That was until she called WAT6 on your side consumer reporter Don Dare, who contacted her insurance company. Don? Well, that's right, Bo. Sherry Donahue finally received good news from her insurance adjuster. The information came late yesterday after we made an inquiry on Monday. Mrs. Donahue, who has four grandchildren living with her, has racked up quite a few expenses, paying for lost belongings and repairs as she struggles to make her mobile home livable again. Sherry, the fire started in this room where? Yes, sir, right here. Sherry Donahue's bedroom right caught here. fire October 28th of last year while she and her grandkids and had been away. Kept my window cracked. And that's apparently what the dad said when the cat jumped on the nightstand to go out the window and knock the lamp on the bed here. And that's what got on fire. Well, when we got here, um, there was fire coming out of the window. Once they stopped the fire, everything inside the house was black. Sherry's granddaughter, Nayeli Vasquez, and three other grandchildren were unable to live in the damaged mobile home until just a few weeks ago. Her insurance company, Encompass, paid temporary living expenses while the house was being aired out, but there was no payout for contents. I don't care about my stuff, just my stuff at my kids. There's, because I live on disability, and four of my kids are disabled. At $550 a year, Mrs. Donahue purchased renter's insurance through Encompass several years ago. Wow. Sherry showed us things but inside the house that have not been fixed. After buying tools, she and some of her older kids started repairing the ceiling and other parts of the house themselves. Recently, she bought a new rug and furniture and paid for it out of her own pocket. Blunt County investigators ruled the fire as accidental. Has your insurance company denied your claim? No, they ain't done nothing. No answer whatsoever. After all these months, you've gotten very little communication from them? Right. I call them. I've called many times, even at, talked to a supervisor, and nothing. My grandmother, she's always bought us everything that we needed. She is on, on disability, so she, you know, she tries her best to get us everything we need. And with this, the fire that caught us, uh, she's been having to replace everything, so it's just hard for her to re make health repairs and like also replace everything that we lost. You've been unable to fix the windows? Yeah, I don't have the money. And when I've been trying to get it so we can literally live back in it, I don't have the money. Personally, we lost all our clothing, shoes, and stuff like that. So we just kind of had to work our way back up from, like, zero. How much do you think you've had to pay out of your own pocket to get things back in a little bit of order? I say it's over 20000 20000 20000 no more. One day after we made our inquiry to Sherry's insurance company, she said her adjuster at Encompass called, telling her he's cutting a check to pay for the damages. While it's $5,000 less than what she had hoped for, Sherry's pleased the issue has finally settled. Now, when we wrote to Sherry's insurance adjuster inquiring about her situation, one of the questions had to do with the delay. Why is it taking so long? There's been no response, and Sherry said she wasn't given a reason either. However, an adjuster does follow a specific set of steps to assess a policy's coverage as the claim is being evaluated to determine the payout. Now, if you have homeowners or renters insurance and there is a loss to your personal property, notify your insurance provider first, of course. Then prepare an inventory of lost or damaged items. Take pictures or video if possible. Also, verify the loss by identifying the cause. You would get that from a fire investigator. Sherry told us late today, just a few hours ago, with the payout, she'll now be able to do more for her grandkids and have a professional work on the repairs. Bo? That's good to hear there, Don. All right, thank you very much. If you have a consumer question for Don, take a moment, send him an email at ddarewat.com. You can also call a six-on-your-side hotline number, 865-633-5974.